Right. Find the data on the helm. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Uh, yeah. So, we had some issues. First of all, redone the circuit so that it's a little bit more obvious what's going on. Now the circuit's fine, I know the circuit's fine because I simmed it, so I know that's right. But I had some problems with the layout. We had these things basically were on the wrong power supply and I had one of them which was on both power supplies, so that's crap. <coughs> uh, these two guys, I'd actually put them on the board the wrong way around, so that won't help. <laughs> I suspect that one of the IGBTs was blown anyway, I replaced it with a new one. And so we've now traced the circuit through. It's kind of okay, but it's not really. Uh, the waveform analysis doesn't seem to be working right. Also, I had to have the software changed as well because it's uh, it wasn't doing the right thing. So uh, you know, currently it's off, and the IGPTs are cold, so we've got no shoot through. I'm going to just turn this off so. And you can see what I've got here is just basically a couple of 1Ks with diodes, LEDs, right? And obviously they go both be on because it's off. And so it should be at half supply voltage, which is about 6 volts. It's actually minus 6 volts. It's the negative supply rail. So if I switch to, um, what is this? So this is low low mode right just go through them that's low off right now you can see that the the LED is now on for the high uh, voltage because it's switching this I can't even see it can you <laughs> so it's switching this IGPT on and off which means that it's going to be turning that one on and off which you can actually see now see I'll just bend it over a bit okay now if I now switch it to um, high off, right? That means this IGBT here is switching, which means this LED is lit and the other one's out. Okay, now that means that I can now switch it, and you can see. Okay, let me show you on the scope. There we go. Now, what I've got is Put it on a DC display, but I've got the trigger offset, so the trigger is at the top, and you can see how. I just don't get too much reflection. Okay. Now what that's doing is that's pulling down from the high, and then I can switch it to the low side. There we go. So you can see it's pulling it in one direction or the other, and then I can also just turn it off, and you see it goes flat. Okay. Yeah. So it's working, but it just seems a bit offset, that's all. <coughs> I think maybe one of the sides isn't pulling high enough or something. So, whatever, anyway. And then, of course, we have the uh, classic, where it's pulling both ways. Now, the thing is, of course, is right now, that will be about the same as being off. So that's off, okay, and that's, you can see it flicker, can't you, as I switch it. And basically that is PWM, okay, 50%, and you'll see that I'm, because I'm pulling both ways now, you can see how it fades between one and the other because it's pulling both high and low, right? And there's no residual current, yeah? on either of them. Yeah? So it is pulling both ways. Okay. Now, let's put this back on. You can see that there's a waveform. Now, what I can do, if I go for the high high off, is it high off? It's low high. So this is low off. So this is pulling it down low side. Right? And that now goes to you can see how it's just switching between that that is now um, 
that'll be 100% low okay so it's actually 100% switching on the low side one and then I can switch it to where it's basically 100% off so it means it's just between the two and then I can switch to high off which now goes the other way you see yeah yeah right and then switch between low and high which means you're fading between the two so that's all three trinary modes yeah okay let's put the circuit back on so you can see there we go that is uh, PWM between both rails okay and then I can go to the low side one yeah Let's make sure it shows you off right and then to the high side one see now I've got a feeling that the high side one isn't pulling fully up however the LED is changing so that's fine right and then of course you see the difference between uh, it's about 50% there so that's PWM both ways and off yeah so that's PWM both ways and off which shows basically the same thing which is 50% on both okay so circuit is just two resistors through two diodes across between the minus 12 volts and the ground which is up here somewhere yeah so it will work as far as I can tell I'm now going to try and put a motor on it and see what we get a reaction from a motor.